For the first time, Springfield's Puerto Rican parade went virtual to keep everyone safe during the pandemic. 22 News reporter Mike Mascadrelli shows us how the community came together online to celebrate their culture. Springfield's Puerto Rican community had to get creative this year to showcase their music, dance, history, and culture. After holding the parade in the streets the last 29 years, the parade committee agreed going virtual was the right call. It's our 30th anniversary this year, and I, I was a kid in the North End who actually marched in the very first parade, and uh, I just couldn't see a year going by without having it myself, as well as all the other committee members. 22 News reporter Hector Molina served as MC. I'm your host, Hector Molina of 22 News. He introduced local Puerto Ricans who made a difference in our region, really like State Representative Carlos Gonzalez and veteran Gumer. Marcindo Gomez. There were also several musical artists, including Tito Puente Jr. Now anyone could stream this virtual version of Springfield's Puerto Rican Parade right on our website, WWLP.com. Now they had to celebrate Puerto Rican culture in this way due to the pandemic, but for the first time they were able to bring parade festivities to people's homes all over the world. and it's not just about sharing it with ourselves, but sharing it with others. Kind of like the Irish parade or the St. Patrick's Day parade, people come from all over to celebrate and they're Irish on that day. And that's the same feeling we have for the Puerto Rican parade. Of course, the intention next year will be to bring the parade back to the streets of Springfield. Viva Puerto Rico. Que viva Puerto Rico y que viva la parada. Working for you, Mike Mascadrelli, 22 News.